So let's talk about use reducer. Use reducer is one of the kind of a, like advanced hooks in React when you understand use reducer. It means you can use like something like Redux and other state management like libraries easily. You can pick them up easily. But I always like, uh, um, I find it better to first uh, learn use state, then use context, then use reducer, then Redux becomes like something more easy for you to digest but if you don't know use state use context use effect uh, it will be must uh, it will be a bit difficult to understand user reducer so what's user reducer user reducer is something like use state but it's a bit different as well because it employs actions different actions so if in state we have const for example posts set posts equals to use state and something like this uh, of course we have to import from react import use state use state and use reducer from react okay in use reducer we have const for example posts dispatch equals use reducer then like this and this dispatch is like this set post but it works a bit differently so let's create an example to understand this better we don't need use state for now okay let's say const our state and dispatch equals to use reducer and here we have to employ a function for example our function is called um, post reducer or something like that then in the second uh, argument you employ like the normal state of your uh, application for example you are asking for an api at first it should be like using use uh, state at first your data should be empty then when you call the api your data will be employed in user reduces the same you have your state you have your dispatch for actions the actions will be introduced in post reducer but your state at first is empty so how about instead of like this we make state an object well we can do that like cons initial state for example equals to like loading is true post this is an empty array and error is empty so what does it mean of course we have to have a comma here we say in this state we have loading up until we have the post is displayed on our machine uh, we have loading now let's say why it doesn't show anything post reducer okay we have loading the posts uh, are not displayed and there is no error okay instead of this empty array we we say please use this initial state okay now let's create a function to modify this initial state. Well, we say const post reducer is equal to this. Now this function is special. It takes two things, state and action. Now state represents this, the argument. Action represents uh, the modifier. Now most developers use switch, so I guess you should use switch as well, but you can use if else as well. We say action dot type. So the type of this action decides what to do with this state. For example, we create a type a case for fetch. What to do when there is fetch? Well, return this object where loading is false because we have post this. There is no longer loading. Post this is equal to action dot payload. And I'll tell you where this payload is introduced. It's not introduced yet. And we have error, which is empty. 
Okay, what seems to be the problem? Now let's do a default case, default return state. Okay, but let's have a case for error as well. So the case for error says error re loading false uh, post when there is error we don't want to show posts and error says error occurs or something like this okay now we have this function we have our initial state we use state and post reducer to modify the state but we still don't have anything to dispatch like our actions so let's call the API. Let's uh, go to JSON placeholder and create an API URL. Cause API URL equals to this and posts. That's the endpoint. Uh, well, const data fetcher. This is a function, an asynchronous function. You should know that by now. Const response equals to wait await fetch and api url cons result equals to await response to a json then instead of use state as we we used to do instead of set posts or something like that we say dispatch dispatch what type of action well we have fetch and what's the payload well, the payload is this result, which is a converted data from the API. So you see what what I mean when I say payload, action.payload. Action.payload means put this inside, like put the converted data in my payload, and uh, when it's fetch, make loading false, make posts like the converted data and error false. But when there is error, make loading false, make posts empty, and send this error. So, but before that, we have to use use effect or something to call our API. And here we say data fetcher and called. Okay, up until now, if we don't have a problem, then we should just say json.stringify and give it state. Loading true, post is empty, error. So then we have a problem because post is shouldn't be empty so why is post is empty let's uh, const api url json placeholder this is okay const response await this is okay okay so the problem is here we have to have like everything as a complete now you see the this is like uh, shown here and if we say like uh, let's create an h2 and put our state here uh, let's do state dot loading because state is an object now it's false what about dot error it's empty so how about if we make a mistake now fail to fetch we didn't see like this error occurred why because we don't have any way to show it well to show it we simply cut this use try catch and here we in the try block we paste this and in the catch block instead of just showing console.log we say type error and then error now, if we make a mistake here, we see error occurred and happened of course, something like that. So this is how you use like user reducer. It might seem a lot at first, but honestly, once you get used to it, uh, it's not that difficult. But most developers use reducer with use context and things like that. So let me show you how we do that. Let's create another code sandbox
Okay. Now we have this. Let's create components. Okay, we have components. Let's create another folder to be our store. And here we create uh, postprovider.js. You should know that by now. Const post provider equals to this and returns this. Okay, let's create export const post context equals to create context and React imported this for us. Let's export this as well. And let's just put this here, this here, our provider here, and our provider here. Value for now, let it be just a string of hello, and we have children here. Of course, you should uh, get back to the previous lectures if you don't know what you are doing with use context, but Normally, now we have the store and the provider. Let's just come here and post provider. Of course, it imported it directly. We copy it. We use it here. Okay. Now, our application can reach this post. Can reach this, uh, like, component. So, what I normally do, I create an initial state, like just to not uh, like complicate things. Uh, let's export const initial state equals to loading at first is uh, true. Okay, loading was true or false. Well, loading at first is true. Now, post this is an empty array, and error is an empty string, something like this. Now, let's create the reducer function. Uh, we called post reducer or something like that, dot js. We say const or export const uh, post reducer equals to this. Okay, we say we said like this takes state and action and inside takes a switch like fun uh, switch uh, case which takes action dot type then in case of fetch we do something in case of error we do something okay and in case of default we just return state. In case of fetch, of course, we return an object where loading is false, error is empty, and let's say post is equals to action dot type action dot payload. Sorry, not type. In case of error, let's just copy this and change it. In case of error, loading is false, post this is empty, and error, we say error court or something like that. Now we have our post reducer ready, we have our initial state ready. Let's use it to call the API, const API URL equals to, no, not this one. Uh, let's get back to our API URL here and just post it here. Okay. Now, how do we use like uh, this initial state and this post reducer? Well, we say like const uh, state and dispatch normally equals to use reducer. Use reducer takes two things. The first is the reducer function, which we have it. So we say reducer, 
which imports it uh, directly and for state we say initial state again import it directly so we have that okay now let's have a function again we say const data fetcher or something like that which is an asynchronous function which takes like uh, const a response equals to await fetch like API URL then const result equals to await response to JSON then const then we say dispatch type fetch and the payload is result now we forgot to do the try catch so just cut everything and do try catch here we dispatch this but if there was an error we dispatch like type error and error okay now let's call this function we say use effect and for use effect we have this and data fetcher okay this is good so instead of this string we just send the state okay okay now let's say in app or let's create another component let's say posts.js and export default posts let it return something okay this is okay so in our app we can use const post equals to use context remember how did we use like post context so if you don't know context please uh, like study the previous lectures about context so let's uh, see what we have in const not post state like we don't have post is there so let's just json the stringify state let's see what we have and if we okay exactly the same result so let's say state dot error we have an empty string so the good thing about this is we can do the same thing here like uh, const state equals to use context and post context and here we say for example state json dot stringify state dot posts or something like that and here let's say we remove this and we just say posts auto import it and so we see the same thing now this is very important because you have a store and everything is in the store and if there is a mistake this shows like the mistake in this store it seems like we don't have the error why we don't have the error ah okay because we only show posts here if we show the error error of course and if we show the, the state normally we see that post is empty and loading is false and error is occurring so um this is how you use like uh use reducer after this when you really master this you should study redux or recoil or something like that because it will be too easy for you to handle it and honestly like uh i think this will be the last lecture for react i will do one crud application using like this kind of use reducer and use context and stuff like that after that uh, this react course will be over and thank you